All right, so this in the top corner here is the work breakdown structure from the last video. And now we're going to learn how to number it using the PMI numbering system. So first of all, level one, we don't use numbers for level one. We'll simply write the project name. Uh, I'm not going to be able to fit that all in there, so we'll just call this project. You simply label that as the project name. Now on level two, you'll start numbering each of these elements with just a single digit. Uh, PMI numbering system doesn't use zeros, so we'll just start with one, two, three. On the third level, so we had level one, two, three, this is our third level here. Now we just use two digits with a what, single decimal place. So this guy here would be 1.1. This one here would be 1.2. Uh, when we come down here, this would be 2.1, and this would be 2.2. This guy would be 3.1 and 3.2. I think you might be seeing the pattern now. When we drop down the next level, we introduce another decimal place and another digit. So this guy would simply just be 1.1.1. 1 .1. This would be 1.1.2. When we come down here, this is 1.2, so this is leading into 1.2. Point one. This would be 1.2.2, right? So you always carry forward what you had here, and then you just start from left to right, adding that 1, and then a 2, and then so on. So here we'll carry down the 2.1, so we get 2.1, 2 point 1, point 1, 2.1, point 2, just like that. Here we'll do this guy. Uh, this would be 2.2.1, 2 point and then 2.2.2, 2 point 2, right? Uh, this guy, when we carry down the 3.1, this would be 3.1.1, and this would be 3.1.2. So it's super repetitive, but I hope you see what the pattern is now. We carried the 3 here to th and added 0 0.1, 0 0.2, and then we carried this 3.1 down here, added 0 0.1, 0 0.2, etc. Uh, so we'll carry this 3.2 down to here. And this is 0.1, because it's the first one, and then the next one would simply just be 3.2.2. All right, so now we're going to drop down to level one, two, three, four, the fifth level. So we'll carry this down, 2.2.1. So these will all start with 2.2.1. So we have 2.2.1, and this would be 0.1. And this one would be 2.2.1.2. This one would be 2.2.1. Point three. See, we're just incrementing that last digit, but everything else is staying the same depending on which element it came out of. And here we get 2.2.1.4. And lastly, if we drop down to the next level, to the sixth level, uh, we would carry this whole thing down and just add a point 0.1 because it's the only one. So we would get 2.2.1.4.1. Two and there you go. Now if you were given a work breakdown structure, for example, this one from the last video, someone could ask you, you know, what is the PMI number for this element or for any given element? And using this method, you can, you can simply label any element with its PMI number.